women have been used as a means of transport in this country, carrying us as babies, carrying firewood, fetching water on their heads. And so it's time that uh, we begin to look at these issues differently. Experience ya na na yego singa na nemvura so to enda ushikoro ya ya irwaza and dunye ba because you have to wake up early in the morning. Oita basa repamba oche ramvura kwe hugeza ni masiblinga ko it was hard it was difficult. Makumba kurwa zakuramba jingo enda kumvura kana kuhuni kana kumunda kumunda kwangu itu kilomita kuva pamba. Development benefit. People need transport. They spend a lot of money on it. And be it to get their kids to clinic or to school or to take goods to market to go and buy agricultural inputs. There's a very, very clear need. People spend lots of time walking, carrying water and, and other things. It's quite easy to sell to people that this is a kind of missing link in development. believe that people, when they're given an opportunity, everyone can excel, but here in Zimbabwe, typically what happens is most of the opportunities are found in the urban areas, not in the rural areas. So I thought this was a brilliant idea, brilliant concept, that we start in the rural areas, impact the rural areas so that people are also empowered here. And having had the opportunity to live in China, I was really struck by the fact that Mobility um, at a household level is is easy. People have these three wheel bikes. They're affordable, and they help them, you know, do arduous chores like fetching water. And I thought, well, why not try and introduce this technology, especially now because in China they've moved from petrol to electric, and see how we could test out and bring this electric revolution in in vehicles to rural small-scale farmers and subsistence farmers and people that still spend hours every day walking. China has been good at producing low-cost and very practical technologies, things that people can maintain easily with a good uh, sort of supply chain of spare parts. And those are things I think that Zimbabwe could learn from and I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to do in time. When Shanta and Felicity visited us um, with their initial idea, it was exciting, but as something that had never been done. Us technically had never implemented such um, an installation. They had never done it with their first pilot, and the, it all the success all hinged on the success of what we've done. So we're just very happy that it all came together. If you look at this part of the world, particularly our country here in Zimbabwe, you know the cost of uh, fuel is very high and uh, the cost of uh, electricity as well is, is very high. You know, electricity, that, the normal electricity that, uh, that you use. So I think what makes this uh, a wonderful solution is that it's very cheap and it's also very sustainable. I think this project will um, truly make this community better and uh, I think we can collaborate well and uh, make this project success. I think each and every one of you is my income. Eva, Emma farmers like Vakazi, Kunyani. Each and every one of you is my income. Each and every one of you is my income. Each and every one of you is my income. Each and every one of you is my income. Each and every one of you is my income. Each and every one of you is well, I saw this project, I think it's magic because first it helps Africa's women. Second, it's related to my research. I think it may be good for myself too. Third, I think Shanta is a very charming woman and he gives us a lot of advice and make us addicted to this project and we all joined it. It was a nice project because it had both an engineering side to it and then uh, in developing countries and since I had some background and uh, some working experience in NGOs in, in Africa I was 
I was keen to get into more engineering fields than NGOs. This is much nicer. This is where you can actually generate money from the inside and then bring it out. Uh, have more sustaining both socially, economically and environmentally. First, I never come to Africa and I want to see uh, what, uh, how the project will, uh, will run in Africa and what different, uh, what different are there uh, in Africa with in China. And second, uh, the major sem somewhat is about uh, power and I also study about power. I'm particularly impressed myself by the fact that we have young people uh, from both countries. As you know, we have a special relationship with China and uh, we are seeing the fruits of that collaboration now moving on to the economic front vis-a-vis uh, -vis young people and women specifically. So I'm really actually very proud that we've managed to bring students from China and Zimbabwe together with a common goal of trying to solve this big problem of how to bring mobility to rural women. And it's been an amazing experience um, just to watch how they've got to know each other, how they've formed groups in which they've collaborated to figure out answers to these questions, to try and figure out solutions to these big problems. But most importantly, just watching friendships blossom between people from very different backgrounds, very different circumstances, is really, really wonderful. It's a very proud moment for us as Mobility for Africa, a women-led initiative bringing innovation here into Zimbabwe. We are the first people to bring electric vehicles for mass use here in Zimbabwe. Tunokwansauto spend the whole day tichita basare dure pamba nekuti huni tinenge tichidzitora kana kuti 6 to 7 kilometers kuminda kwacho nekuma garden zvinenge zvine ma distance aka akati o takafarira program iyoyi yauya ichirerutsa zvinhu zvakawanda but anga tichifanira kusquare tichita basa takuzvita nguwa dikidiki saka tafarira kuti tikapinda mu program iyoyo tinokwanisa kuwana nguva yekuita mawoma projects yeku expand mu mawoma projects noti tinenge tane enough time yeku tashimushedi